Okay guys, so in today's video we're going to be doing a follow-up to the Q&A that I started quite a while ago now. I'm going to be answering all the questions that you sent in, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first set of questions comes in from Lizard, who was actually our competition winner, but his first question was, am I an introvert, an extrovert or neither? The answer to this question is probably a bit more personal than any other question because really what you define as an introvert or an extrovert really depends on what you think. But I would say that I'm probably more towards the introvert side because I'm not really outspoken or anything, but I'm hardly a recluse or anything, so yeah. Lizard's other question was what would my superpower be? So if I could have any sort of power, it would probably have to be shape-shifting because if you could like turn into any other animal, then you could basically do what lots of people wish for in like other superpowers. So for example, if you wanted to be able to fly, you could just turn into an eagle or if you wanted to be able to swim really well, then you could just turn into a fish or something. So that would be a really cool idea in my opinion. But yeah. So the next questions are coming in from Mr. Dayday112, whose first question is, what animal would I like to own in the future? There are actually quite a lot of animals that I would like to keep and are sort of sensible for me to do so. Um, I would really like to try my hand at keeping and breeding dart frogs because the enclosures you can make for them are just amazing in my opinion. And I'd also like to keep Cameroon dwarf geckos for the same reason, but obviously these are geckos instead of um, frogs, so there is a little bit of difference. I'd also be interested in keeping frog-eyed geckos because I've seen some of these at my local exotic shop and they've been there for ages but they look really cool so I don't know why people haven't bought them. And the last animal that I'd like to keep sensibly is maybe a spotted python which is an Australian species and is actually one of the smallest types of python. They then asked me what type of animal would I like to own but can't so I'm going to take this as meaning like a dream animal. So dream animals for me would be an Argentine tegu because, I mean, anybody who keeps reptiles basically wants one of those if they haven't got them already because they're just so intelligent and interesting. I'd also really love to own a blue tree monitor, which, you know, that is just basically never going to happen because they're so expensive and I think they're typically wild caught and they can be quite flighty, but they are just such an amazing creature to look at. And another impossible creature for me to own, but might isn't it isn't really that improbable for a lot of people, is um, an Isle of Pines Chihua. I just love these because of the way they look, and I mean, caring for them's not that bad, and they are expensive, but they aren't ridiculously expensive. It's just that in the UK, finding Chihuahuas for me where I live is pretty impossible, and then to fi find an Isle of Pines Chihua it's just basically never going to happen. So the final question comes from Niels Beamond, who asks, am I going to get a chameleon in the future? Now for me, a chameleon really would be one of those dream species to own. I didn't include it in the last list because there's no point talking about it twice. But I do think chameleons are just incredible creatures. And um, like Yemen chameleons, for example, aren't that expensive or hard to care for. And I could easily get one if I wanted to. It's just that the space for the enclosure that I'd like to keep one in is just not available to me at the minute. So I might end up keeping a chameleon in the future, but it probably won't be for a very long time. So that was all of the questions that we got in the Q&A. I'd like to thank the people that took part in this because not many people actually did, less than I've had in the past in fact, but the questions were good and pretty unique to be honest, so thanks for taking part and I do hope that you've enjoyed that part of the video. But now that we've gone through that, I do have some updates to go through. So my subscribers will probably remember that it is, well obviously it's the summer at the minute, but I did plan on making two or three videos a week whilst I was off school for a long time and I have mostly kept up with that so I am quite happy about that and it has been like a really amazing time because the channel's grown quite a lot and I've had lots of feedback so it has been really great doing all that but obviously summer can't last forever and it really is coming to a close now. So in the next couple of days, I'm going to be going away again. So obviously uploads for this week, this is going to be it. 
And then when I come back, I've only actually got a couple more days off until I'm back in school. So unfortunately, the double upload season really has come to the end. Saying that though, it doesn't mean that um, I'm not going to be uploading at all. I'm going to try and upload every week on a Sunday. So hopefully that'll come off. I'm pretty sure it will because I doubt I'll have too much to do when I go back. But anyway, um, I do have quite a lot planned actually for now that summer's over. I've still not finished with a lot of stuff like Splat's Enclosure, the Crested Gecko. I've not quite finished. Um, I've got stuff to do with the fish tank. I'm going to try and turn it into a biotope aquarium. So I will be updating on that. Um, I want to make updated cur guides, like my corn snake cur guide needs redoing. But I do have something extra exciting happen happening in the middle of September. So do keep a lookout for that. Ignoring updates and all that rubbish anyway, I would like to thank everybody that's joined me this summer because as I've said, the channel has grown a lot and we are becoming a much wider community now and the videos are getting more views faster. So it is really becoming something that I wasn't really sure if this channel would ever take off to. But anyway, this summer's been great. Um, my next um, upload is probably going to come just at the start of September. So if you're interested, then stick around for that. But regardless, thank you all for watching my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.